We've done various videos about useful tools for an efficient copying setup on this channel. Today, I'm finally going to talk about all things sneaker servers. You might be wondering what they are, whether you need one, and which ones perform the best. Well, I can help you out, so let's jump into it. To make sure we're on the same page, let's define what a sneaker server is. It's a remote computer hosted in a data center that you control via your laptop or desktop. Using a server is very similar to using any computer with a Windows OS installed on it. You can connect to a server through an app like Microsoft Remote Desktop. As you might have guessed, sneaker servers aren't free. So before you decide to invest in one, it's important to understand if you really need it in your setup. You need a sneaker server if you want to increase your copying speed. Fast internet is crucial for copying on sites that don't use a raffle drop system. Even if you have a fast 100 or 300 megabytes per second connection, a sneaker server can reach one gigabyte or even 10 gigabytes per second. You also might need one if you reside far away from the servers of your target site. Since shoe servers are hosted in data centers, you can choose one close to your target servers. This will allow the requests to come in and out much faster. Also, remember to have your sneaker proxies in the same location as the server. Another reason is simple. You wanna use multiple bots and your computer simply can't handle it. Bots use a lot of computing resources, especially if you want to run hundreds of tasks. Instead of buying a more powerful computer, try using a server. And the final one for all the Mac users out there, some bots are only compatible with Windows OS. A server eliminates the incompatibility problem since you install the bots on it, but still run them from your Mac. Would you like us to do a video about setting up a sneaker server? Let me know in the comments, would love to hear your thoughts. When it comes to specs, how powerful of a server you should get depends on your copying needs. Eight gigabytes of RAM and four CPU cores should be enough for casual cooking. On the other hand, if you're running hundreds of tasks or multiple bots, you might want to get more powerful hardware, such as the C4.2 extra large option on Amazon. Now, since I've already mentioned Amazon, let's dig into the most popular server providers and see if they're worth the hype. First up, Google Cloud. This is a good option for beginners who are just starting out with sneaker servers. Why? Well, since you get charged by the hour and the rates are not too high. The downside is that G Cloud servers lack speed. So if you want to cop from sites where speed matters, like a lot, like Supreme, you won't get the best results. Another important thing is that G Cloud limits the number of servers you can generate. The second very popular choice is Amazon Web Services, or AWS sneaker servers. I gotta say, I understand why many choose these servers. AWS servers perform better than G Cloud in terms of speed. Also, unlike G Cloud, AWS doesn't limit the number of servers you can generate. That means having a different server for every single bot is very much possible. The rates of AWS and G Cloud are very similar. They tend to range from $1 to $3 per hour, but generally AWS tends to charge a bit more than Google Cloud. Of course, you can try buying AWS promo codes cheaper on sites like eBay, just be cautious in the process. And the third option worthy of your consideration is dedicated sneaker servers. Unlike the first two, these are servers you buy for a whole month. So right off the bat, it is a pricier option. The monthly fees vary depending on the provider and the specs, but usually this type will cost you around $100. What benefits do you get for that price? One of the biggest upsides is the performance. Since the server is only for you to use, the speed is going to be next level. What's more, this is the best option for those of you who want to run restocks, especially if you want to cop foot sites where restocks drop randomly. Dedicated servers can also be handy if you're not a fan of turning your server on and off during release crazy months. One more important thing to note is that dedicated servers are pretty much ready to use instantly. 
the provider will give you an IP, username, and password, and you're ready to go. Servers from pay-as-you-go providers, so both AWS and Google Cloud, will require a bit of time to set up. With all these benefits in mind, I would strongly recommend considering whether a dedicated server is worth it for your budget. With pay-as-you-go servers, you can quickly stop paying if the performance doesn't meet your expectations. Monthly prepayment doesn't offer that kind of flexibility. Oh, and a quick tip, before stopping your subscription, always make sure to deactivate your bots from the server and retrieve all of your files. Some examples of reputable dedicated server providers are 10X servers, iced out servers, or Oculus servers. As you can tell, there are plenty of reasons why botters use servers, but as with all tools, they're not beneficial for everyone. So do consider your copying needs before investing. To make sure you won't miss out on upcoming sneaker content, give some love to that subscribe button. Oh, and before you go, check out our video about best sneaker proxies. It'll help to further improve your setup. See you there.